Hi, I'm Megan Locke. I'm the Farmland Biodiversity Advisor for Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust. And I have the pleasure of being the facilitator for Martin Down and the Allenford Farmer Cluster, which forms two thirds of the Martin Down Supercluster. And we were looking at the farm and bird populations with, across the clusters. So I've been undertaking breeding bird surveys and noticed within those surveys that we haven't had any um, swifts monitored, uh, recorded within those areas. Uh, I fed that back to the farmers in the cluster group meetings and uh, the idea came up that we should maybe um, we looked into why there weren't any swifts within the farmed area and it was uh, the lack of nesting opportunities. Swifts tend to be in urban areas because they like to nest in buildings so very few nest sites are natural nest sites for them so they like to nest in in cracks and holes in buildings so you'll often find them in cities and in villages but they will go into rural areas if if there are sites for them so you do see them out in the countryside as well as in as in towns we had funding for um every farm to have a swift box um the clusters all together cover seventeen and a half thousand hectares so that's a vast area um and within that we've kind of covered from salisbury to fording bridge to cranbourne and it's you know it it's fantastic that we've been enabled such a vast area to have some opportunities and with that we hope that we can build on that in the future. The start of the decline happened at least 35 years ago um, so it's been known about all of that time and the causes are the changes in construction methods so all of the houses that have been built in that time the roofs themselves are much more insulated and the fitting of plastic fascias and soffits has been awful because that uh, excludes the birds from the eaves where they, where they nest. In the last 30 years, the latest data from the BTO shows that they have declined by 75%. It's, it's lack of nest sites. It's not, there's no evidence that it is loss of insects or any other cause. There's no doubt now there's overwhelming evidence that it is uh, loss of nest sites that is the cause of the problem. With our farmer cluster, this is a long-term project for us. We'll be monitoring it and seeing how successful it is in the future. But we have been really um, lucky to one of the properties that we put our swift box on had already quite a few pairs nesting in the thatch, which is unheard of in Hampshire. So it's the only um, known site in Hampshire to have swifts nesting on a thatched house. So that's fantastic. If you can have a call player as well, so that when they're flying over, they will be attracted to the sound, thinking that there might be other swifts nearby, and then they will um, come down and check out the sites, which is what we're trying to do in Fording Bridge by having call players on houses to get the swifts to want to come down and check it out. And because they're site loyal, once they've got a nest site, they'll come back to that box year after year and nest with the same partner, hopefully year after year as well. A swift brick has a hole in the front of a size sufficient for our urban birds, all, all of which have declined, this, the starlings, the swifts and the house sparrows, for exactly the same reason, that they can no longer get into our homes to nest. The costs start at 30 to 35 pounds each, um, so cost is not an issue. The, the builders are expecting it to happen, but it just hasn't happened yet. We've got uh, several partners that have enabled this project to, to go ahead. First of all, it was Ford and Bridge Greener Living. They um, awarded us some money to uh, fund five boxes and some coolers. Um, and then I applied for some funding through Hampshire Council. So uh, Edward Heron granted that application and we awarded us a sum of money. And the remaining money that I needed to enable this project to, to, to go ahead was through GWCT, through the SWIRE funding. Um, so all of those three pots together um, gave us the money, enough money that we needed. I've already spoken to GWCT and we're looking at how we can fund this going forward.